Gents, this is Mantelligence. And before this party gets too far out of hand, I want you to do a little mental exercise. Picture the most impressive man you can think of. What's he wearing? What's he look like? How is he acting and what is he doing? Got a picture? Good. We're going to come back to that image in a few minutes. But first, we're going to teach you how to be exactly like that man. Plus, we're also going to teach you the number one mistake guys make that they think is impressive, but is actually ridiculously lame. So without further ado, here's how to impress a girl in five easy steps, plus the number one least impressive thing you can ever do. Number five, remember the human. First, let's talk about first impressions. But more importantly, let's talk about how the word impress is right there in the beginning of the word impression. How neat is that? Uh, yeah, very cool, Beardy. Anyway, you should know by now that your first impression needs to impress and make a girl crazy for you all at once. See, most guys throw whatever game they think they've got out there, see what sticks, and play a numbers game. But what they don't realize is that every girl is different, and the same approach doesn't work for every girl. Which is why when you're trying to make a good first impression with a girl, one of the easiest ways to impress her is by remembering that she's an individual. She has a story, she has dreams, and both of those things are what make her the girl she is today. So if you show a genuine interest in what makes her so unique by actively listening and asking follow-up questions, she'll be very impressed with your curiosity. And if you can adopt this mindset when meeting anyone new, guy or girl, well, that social prowess is even more impressive. Number four, be a modest gentleman. Hey guys, Beardy here, and I'm gonna be frank for a second. I feel like a lot of guys these days think that being a gentleman shows some sort of weakness. This idea was most likely spread by nice guys and self-proclaimed incels who tend to view women as the enemy. They've been turned down so many times that they think they'll never find love. And I'll admit it, it's probably not an easy situation to be in, but that doesn't mean those guys should give up on finding love. In fact, the problem these guys face is almost entirely caused by how they view their own actions. Think about it. Who sounds more attractive? A guy who thinks that just because he holds the door for a girl he deserves a date, aka the nice guy, or a guy who holds doors, says please and thank you, and doesn't think anything of it. Here's the thing. You can totally be the most gentlemanly guy a girl's ever met. In fact, it's one of the habits women love, but only if you're modest about your good manners and view them as something that you should do simply because it's the right thing to do. Being a gentleman is ridiculously impressive to women, but only if you have the proper attitude to go with it. Number three, look impressive. All right, do you still have that mental image of an impressive man from the intro of this video? Good, I told you we'd be coming back to it. It's me, isn't it? I'm the impressive man. Um, yeah, sure, Beardy, you're very impressive. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna bet your impressive man is dressed impeccably, has clear skin, a stylish haircut, square shoulders, and perfect posture. Is he unemployed? He very well may be, but who cares? He's still impressive. No matter his circumstances, a man who cleans himself up on a daily basis, or one that just stands up straight, projects an air of confidence that's immediately impressive. And on top of standing straight, getting your hair did, and cleaning your fingernails, you're complex is imperative when it comes to impressing a girl. Luckily, today's sponsor for this video, Tiege Hanley, can clear up all types of complexions. Tiege Hanley's skincare system will keep your face clean and protected from the elements throughout the day. And if you need a little more help, their acne system, filled with ingredients like Salix Alba Bark and Lavandula oil, will have you cleared up in no time. One of the other great things about Tiege Hanley is they deliver their skincare systems right to your door. No need to hit the mall. Plus, if you make sure to use their products every day, your discipline of sticking to a daily routine will be even more impressive than your ridiculously clean and clear face. Look, I know they're sponsoring this video, so I'm going to sing their praises, but you don't have to just listen to me. Take a look at the thousands of four and five star reviews they've racked up from guys who instantly became more impressive. So check out the link in the description or visit tiege.com slash manimpress for a simple skincare routine that's almost guaranteed to help you impress girls. All right, I know you're well on your way to impressive city, but before shaking your martinis and going full Daniel Craig, there's one topic we need to touch on, and it's one that can undo all of your hard work up to this point. I'll explain everything you need to know at the end of this video. For now, here are the last two items on our list. Number two, be an idea man. You may have heard this quote said originally by Henry Thomas Buckle in 1901, great minds discuss ideas, 
Average minds discuss events, small minds discuss people. Want to know how to make any girl fall in love with you? Don't have a small mind. Literally anyone can talk about other people, and the worst types do so in a negative way. But it takes an impressive man to use his brain to think about and discuss events, and an even more impressive man to discuss ideas. Consider this, what do you think the world would be like if the Nazis won World War II? I'd say that's a much more interesting topic to discuss than how much you hate Karen from HR. Don't get me wrong though, bonding over people you dislike is a great way to start a conversation with a girl. It can actually be kind of fun. But eventually, she'll want to know that you actually have a brain and can think for yourself. So don't be afraid to impress her with interesting ideas on important topics, or interesting ideas on completely mundane topics, like how many Capuchin monkeys could hang from the Eiffel Tower. Oh, we're back on Capuchin monkeys again. Ideas, especially the unique ones, not only make you impressive, they're also very charming. For more tricks on how to be charming, check out this video. Number one, on the rocks. Mirroring, open body language, eye contact. You've heard it all before when it comes to body language tricks to make her chase you. And yeah, you should be doing those things, but you shouldn't be thinking about them too much. Why, you ask? Because if you're talking to a girl and thinking too much about how you're supposed to be acting, you'll probably miss out on all the things she's saying. So be like a glass of whiskey on the rocks. Take your time and chill out a little, brother. Sure, we already told you that every girl is different, but every time you talk to a girl, well, that's the same for the most part, isn't it? You're trying to get to know her, trying to make a good first impression, and trying to find a connection. So if you really want to impress a girl, act like she's not the first girl you've ever talked to. Relax, take it easy, and order a drink on the rocks as a reminder to maintain your composure. The number one pitfall to impressiveness. All right, guys, we've talked a lot about tricks to get girls to chase you, but if you want to undo all that hard work, here's how you screw it up. Arrogance. Arrogance is confidence's inbred cousin. He's the type of guy who shows up drunk to your wedding and hits on your bride-to-be. And if you give arrogance the opportunity, he'll wreck your chances of ever finding a bride-to-be. Arrogance is insidious because it so closely resembles confidence, yet yields the polar opposite result. So while the confident man who takes pride in his appearance, listens and responds in context, is generous and generally cares is impressive, the arrogant man with his inflated sense of ego, entitlement, self-importance, brag Agadocious nature is an asshole. So please, fellas, for your sake and the sake of girls everywhere, don't be an arrogant asshole. Gentlemen, this is Mantelligence. Today we're showing you 10 psychologically magnetic ways guys can get girls to approach them. And because we want to make sure girls come to you and not the other way around, we're also showing you one thing guys do all the time that gets women instinctively running the other direction. So, to make sure you're on her mind, here are 10 psychological tricks to get a girl to approach you, plus the one thing that will keep her from ever saying hi. Number 10. Make an opening. You may not realize it, but some common habits you do every day may be putting up barriers that are more than enough to keep a girl you like from approaching you. For instance, if you're wearing your headphones, looking angry, or just standing too far away, it's going to make it difficult for her to get to you. So, to make sure she doesn't have a reason not to head your way, make things easy for her. Clear the path, remove barriers, and stay open. Number 9. Keep it cool and casual. No, that doesn't mean you've got to go out of your way to always look cool. All it means is that women are much more likely to approach you if you seem relaxed, comfortable, and are showing openness with some good vibes. Because just as you'd rather not walk up to a girl when she looks wound up and stressed out, she's much more likely to approach you if you look simply easy to deal with. Number eight, don't be an... As we mentioned, being cool and relaxed will help a girl know that you're approachable, but also being kind and generous to those around you will let her know that you're not a jerk. It may not always seem that way, but girls don't actually like jerks, and being rude and obnoxious to everyone will drive away a lot more women than it will attract. So our advice? You don't have to be the nice guy, but you do have to be the good guy. Number seven, have fun. You don't have to stand on top of tables or swing from a chandelier, but if you can, try your best to be in the moment and just let go. Because guys, you know this, girls love being around guys who are having a good time and look like fun. It's basically a law of nature. So if you're out and really enjoying yourself, make sure you show it. Number six, beard care. It goes without saying, if you've got a beard, that also means you've got a daily responsibility to keep it clean and food free. While women love the rugged look, and we know it's always beard season, 
The last thing a girl wants when she finally approaches you is to smell your beard before she can even start talking. Okay guys, just a short break here to remind you that at the end of this video, we're going to let you in on one misstep guys are constantly doing that guarantees girls never even consider coming their way. So to keep the girls coming, stay tuned till the end of the video. Let's continue with the next five psychological tricks to get a girl to approach you. Number five, contrast your style. If you're like most guys, you probably have a type of day-to-day -day style that you like to stick to. And while we're sure your fashion sense is awesome, if you want a girl that you see a lot to finally take notice, few things work better than simply dressing differently for a day. Why? If a girl sees you dressed the exact way day after day, you become another predictable part of her routine. So when all of a sudden you dress differently, not only do you show her that you can branch out stylistically, but you also psychologically remind her that she can't always know what to expect with you. Number four, have a great online bio. If you're on Tinder, Bumble, or any other dating app, a great bio is a must. Because if you want a girl to swipe right, you've got only seconds to create some real intrigue. Here's what works. Along with a great pic that tells a story, add a few quick things that you're into, and of course, what kind of girl you're looking for. Despite what it may seem, your profile does not need to be all that clever to get a girl's interest. And in many cases, trying to be too funny or cute can actually hurt how a girl sees you online. Number three, accentuate. Just like everybody knows that women are drawn to foreign accents in a guy's voice, they also can't ignore tasteful accents in a guy's style. So if you're looking for a way to show a girl that you've not only got an eye for detail, but also instantly appear more interesting, incorporate small stylistic accents into your day-to-day -day style. If you wear a lot of dark colors, throw in a bright colored hat, socks, or shoelaces. If you wear a lot of lighter stuff, throw in some black. It may not seem like much, but you'd be amazed at the small details that women will notice. Number two, don't forget eye contact. You've heard it before, but if you wanna create instant psychological allure, you've got to nail the initial eye contact. When you briefly lock eyes and connect with a girl that you like, not only does it give her the signal that you're interested and want to meet her, but it's also just about the only way to show her that you're confident without actually talking to her. Number one, use your body language tricks. Here's a statistic that you may have heard before. Over 90% of communication is nonverbal. Admittedly, we're not sure exactly how reliable that number is, but body language is indisputably important when it comes to psychological communication. So practice these techniques. Build familiarity by subtly copying her posture and movements. Next, stand at the classically relaxed 45 degree angle when talking. And finally, don't stare too aggressively. Women love eye contact, but the first thing they look for is comfort and safety with a guy. As we promised earlier, here's the one thing that will have women immediately intimidated. Not smiling. As you likely know, smiling is one of the most inviting things that you can do. It puts people at ease and lets them know that it's okay. So if you want a girl to approach you, start with giving her a smile, because who knows, that smile could be what finally brings her guard down enough to chat with you and start the chemistry between you two. And if you're self-conscious about your smile, speaking openly and charismatically might just so be the same trick. So there we have it. Five tips on how to be immediately impressive to girls, as well as how to torpedo all your otherwise worthy efforts. And don't forget to invest in a little self-care with www.tige.com slash manimpress for all your skincare needs. After all, it's the impressive thing to do. Thanks for watching.